Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. So is the International House of Prayer closing its doors? According to this article, it would seem to be so. And this, of course, is in relation to the recent scandal involving Mike Bickle. A recording from the university states that the ministry is losing hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, partially due to the many donors closely connected to Bickle. But of course, they plan on launching a new ministry. And we can only pray that they've learned from the past mistakes and that they will have a more biblically based group that doesn't teach that you can all prophesy and be wrong most of the time, like Mike Bickle taught. But this change is going to result in cutting staff by 90%. They must have been making a lot of money before. The dissenter puts it this way, and that IHOP was never a move of God or the work of the Holy Spirit. It was a carefully orchestrated facade which quickly became a cult that has finally crumbled under the weight of its own leadership scandals. I don't know if I'd go as far as calling IHOP a cult, but it was definitely a group of people being led astray by the false teachers in this crowd. As stated from the start, Bickle positioned IHOP with the controversial Latter Rain movement. That started around the 19th century and is basically what we now call the New Apostolic Reformation. And that, of course, ties into all the self-appointed prophets and apostles we see today. This article has a link to the actual recording, and I'll leave that in the description below. But let's continue to pray for the victims of Mike Bickle and for all of those that have been deceived within the NAR movement, and that their new church will be more founded on God's word rather than the hyper-charismatic leaders that are running it. Anyhow, we're going to keep it short for today, but leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.